I just remember every time they would cut to you in a pay-per-view, you'd be in the crowd talking to fans, and they'd be like, Bobby Heenan would be on commentary, and Gorilla would be like, let's go to Sean Mooney. Like, who? who? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of things. Between Bobby putting me over that way, that was so great, because I everywhere I go, even today, you know, people like Sean Mooney, who? Um, and then, you know, Kurt Hennig saying, shut up, Mooney. Yes. Well, you know, people know how wrestling works. That puts you over, you know, and, and Bobby putting me into all that stuff helped me, you know, the the stuff that he would do, uh, you know, the banter that we would have, they had me on primetime and I would do, you know, all those segments I did for the event center were taped and they would insert them. Well, um, I can't, for whatever reason, one night, I just remember they needed, they wanted me to be on the set and they set up my event center in, you know, all in the studio and everything. And they would have me do event center stuff during the show. Well, Bobby was kind of behind that because he loved, if you go back and look at those, he would sit there and just berate me. I don't want to <laughs> get anything out, but it was good because it, it got me involved in doing that stuff where, you know, I got to be a straight man to him. You know, there's no better straight man in the world for Bobby Heenan than Gorilla Monsoon, but I love being his backup, you know? Of course. So whenever I got a chance to work with him, uh, I leapt at the chance, you know, the, when that uh, opening night of Raw, when we're out and, and and Bobby's dressing up, you know, trying to get into the building, this is some of my my favorite bits, and I'd love to look back on that stuff because, uh, you know, working with him, he was just he was just so awesome. And, yeah, uh, you were part of the first Monday Night Raw, and yeah. that's in '93 in, in January where it's coming out, and they they canceled primetime wrestling, which was a huge staple for the WWF for so long. And yeah. you're outside the building doing these interviews, and Bobby Heenan's trying to break through the building. He's not invited because Rob Bartlett, we talked about earlier, has yeah. taken his spot. Now, at the time, it, going into this, are you under the impression of, oh, this is just another wrestling show we're doing, or when it ends, everyone's kind of together after going was that a success how are we feeling about this like it, is it beyond just a normal wrestling show are we feeling like this is going to be something that we're still talking about today yeah that's a really great question because uh we knew this thing was brewing um we i think we all kind of we all like kind of the rawness of it that the, the plan for it was to you know have be in this arena but a really small setting and have the you know the fans are kind of in that that manhattan center it, yeah. the the seats are like right oh there and they were it was like a, these different higher levels you know so you it it just had this feeling like they were right there i mean you could hear it um but you don't know because we did a lot of different things but i remember and i wasn't in the building during you know the like i go in between those bits that we did because we did those you know hot but I just remember when I would go in and I would kind of, I always loved to watch from the, you know, the curtains basically. And you could feel like a real different vibe with that show, you know, and they had the sirens going and the, you know, the, and, and they got, and the crowd was just totally into it. And I remember afterwards that every, not, I wasn't just the only one. And I remember the car ride back up from Manhattan, um, Everybody said, man, that, that was different. That was definitely, that was, there was definitely something to that. And, you know, it grew from there. Now, now who would have thought to this, you know, that it'd still be around? Right. I don't think so. We didn't, we didn't look at things that way, but it was definitely a feeling that, you know, like, Hey, this is, this is different. There's some, it wasn't just, you know, a wrestling challenge kind of show, or it wasn't yeah. superstars like yeah. that. It was like, man, there was this, there was really an energy to this. 